Hello everyone, this is Raji. In association with AKST, today let us learn about Mapping Data Flow, Debug Mode in Azure Data Factory. So, Azure Data Factory Data Flows Debug Mode allows you to interactively watch the data shape transform while you build and debug your data flows. Let us see this in practical. Let us open Azure Data Factory Studio. The debug session, session can be used both in data flow design sessions as well as during pipeline debug execution of data flows. Previously, already we created the data flow. Here we have two data sets, data1 and data2. We have joined this using join and this is the output. Let us see the inputs here. If you open the storage account, open the container, if you open the data folder, in this we have input folder, here we have data1 and data2. We have loaded these two using data sets and in the data flow, we have imported these two. So here, to turn on the debug mode, use the data flow debug button in the top of the data flow canvas. See here, it is available. Just turn it on. So when you click that one, a pop-up is opened you will be prompted to select which integration runtime configuration you wish to use. If auto resolve integration runtime is chosen, a cluster with eight cross, eight cores of general compute with a default 60 minute time to leave will be spun up. So here you can see debug live time is one hour. Click OK. So when this debug mode is on, you will interactively build your data flow with an active spark cluster. This session will close once you turn the debug off. So the data data the data flow debug mode is on. Here we have data one and data two. Let us see this preview button is before it is off. Now it is showing green. So here you can see the data preview. Let us click refresh. It is fetching the data. In real time, this data flow debug will be very useful, useful, so you can easily see the data. So it's a good practice to build your data flows in debug mode so that you can validate your business logic and view your data transformations before publishing your work. See, this is the input. We can preview, we can see the preview here. If you click the data to see if you click here, click on refresh. So you can see the data here. Sync. Sync is the output. Let us see the output data. Click on refresh. See, this is the output here.
here. Let us validate Deepak. We go to home. Wait, order. This is the pipeline. Pipeline one. Let us. run the this data flow it is being done let us add a trigger let us trigger now go to the monitor mode you can see the pipeline is running click on refresh so here we can we have a option called type cast so here you can change the change it to change the data into integer long float or double or decimal or boolean values and here we have other modify option we can change the uh, case of this to if you want upper let us select upper upper case let us convert the data into upper case so if you check the product name is changed to upper case let us book and pen now now it will ask to update the canvas with this changes let us click on confirm so if you observe here you can see there is a modify column here so this is the modify column and you see a symbol here so that is that is the derived column from data 1 so if you want to give this modify column input to this here change the left stream data one See the data modify column is given as input to this join. Now, if we go to the sync and preview, let us click on validate first.
let us go to pipeline debug this one so this is how you can give this output to here so this is all about mapping data flow debug mode in azure data factory thank you